So today is Ash Wednesday. Pretty exciting. My thing kind of already went away, but I just wanted to share with you a few thoughts on Ash Wednesday. I'm gonna focus on the thing that they say when they put uh, the ashes on your forehead. There's two things that they say. There's two options. The first one is uh, remember you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And the second uh, phrase that they say is um, repent and believe in the gospel. So I think both of these phrases can be very uh, enlightening as to how we're supposed to live Lent, and they they enlighten us as to what Lent is all about. So let's start with the first one. The first one is, remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. So basically, this is reminding us that we're going to die. Now, that sounds kind of gloomy and sad, like why do, do we want to be reminded of death? Um, but we do want to be reminded of death because there is heaven, right? So sometimes we can get very caught up in this world, in the material world, and forget about the spiritual, spiritual world. But when, when we think about death, we remember, oh my gosh, like this physical world will, will end, I'm going to die, and then it's, it's going to be about the spiritual world. So am I preparing myself for heaven? Am I preparing myself for, for eternal life with, with God? Uh, it's important to, in Lent, uh, it's important to uh, unattach ourselves from, the, from, from a lot of physical goods and attach ourselves to spiritual goods. Not because um, physical goods are bad, but because sometimes we focus so much on spiritual, uh, sorry, on physical goods that we forget about the spiritual goods. So some, some, some questions to ask yourself is, how often do you think about heaven? If you don't think about heaven enough, then you clearly are maybe too caught up in, in the physical world. Or perhaps, do you work harder at getting physical things than spiritual things? Like, do you spend more time working out than you spend praying? Do you spend more time uh, working to get, like, technology than working to, um, you know, be closer to the Lord? Uh, so it's a good questions to reflect upon, and maybe goals you can set for Lent are things that are going to help uh, direct your life more towards um, spiritual realities and using the physical goods as a means to encountering God, not as an end in themselves. Second phrase is uh, repent and believe in the gospel. And so we, we all have failed at um, the first point I was speaking about, about you know, getting too caught up in physical things. So we ought to repent, to, to say, Lord, I'm sorry that I have forgotten about you. Um, and this, I mean, it hurts God. He loves us so much and he just wants to be with us. So it hurts him to see us not wanting to be with him. So we should think about how we've failed the Lord and repent and tell him, I'm sorry. And I mean, I'm not sorry enough, but I want to be more sorry. I want, to, I want you to help me, Lord, to be more uh, repentant and to take action towards living my life differently so, the, so, so that I stop offending you, right? Repentance is not only like a, a thing of the heart of feelings, but it starts there and then it moves into action. And lastly, you have to repent, believe in the gospel. So we shouldn't just stay in this like gloomy, like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I suck. I mean, maybe we do suck and we're, we're not, you know, we're not living uh, our life to the fullest. However, we ought to believe in the gospel and the fact that Jesus came to the earth um, to save us. And that because he came and died from the cross for us and resurrected, because he did that, he changed the course of history. And now we are able, through his grace, through um, the sacrifice that he made, we are able to uh, break away from sin. We can invite him into our difficult situations, our sinfulness, and with him we can be free and we can choose God and we can uh, live Fully. So we ought to be joyful and hopeful because he's already saved us. We just have to embrace uh, what he did for us. And, and yeah, so I uh, hope this is somewhat helpful to you to enter into Lent. And I hope it brings much spiritual growth. I shall say a prayer for all of you that watch this video. Please say a prayer for me too that I have good Lent and grow closer to the Lord. Cheers.